Hi. Welcome to Battle Harden. <laughs> it's gonna be the best goddamn event out there. Welcome to Zelda Zelda Gaming, my name's Lock and Linton Keener. Welcome to Battle Harden 2019 down here in Melbourne, Victoria. We've got 1,000 point tourney with, is it six games? Uh, I believe it's five. Five, okay, five. Yeah, a bit, bit more of a casual summer, yeah, that's right. So it should be good. Up first, we've got round one, Domination against Adam Copeland. Thanks for coming and have a game today, no dude. Worries. It's a pleasure. Now, it's what good. are you bringing? Because it's going to be a pretty themey matchup. I've got a thousand point Dunway in force. Yeah, we're talking, we're talking a horde here, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. How so many models? We've got uh, 96 models. Could have been 98. Ah. Right, I'm actually 10 points under the limit. Oh, right, just, so, just not enough models. Um, no, I miscalculated. <laughs> I, I stayed up too late last night, As and always. so I did my maths this morning and yeah. said, Oh no, I've got it wrong. I've got two extra <laughs> wild men than I should have. Now, and Bryden isn't coming, right? It's, no, it's just a big chaff horde. He, he's on holidays. He's yeah. scoping out Gondor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, fair call. It's a beautiful yeah. place down there. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so we're looking at nine chieftains and then yep. wild men and warriors, pretty much. Yeah, that's 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 exactly right. All right, awesome. Well, it's going to be hard for me to hold out against, like, you know, so, so you've got so much board control with so many numbers. I've only got 21 models in my 1,000 points. It's basically the same 800 point list. Uh, as my New Zealand list, so lots of Royal Guard, about 12 of them actually, and then nine heroes. I've added two captains, so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Good luck, dude. No worries. Thank Let's you. Jump into Good luck it. to you. <laughs> Turn number one, death has been called. Rohan uh, went to work and massacred 21, Adam. Yeah, 21. Ooh, ooh, An savage. First charge. Look at those corpses. But the rest of the boys are advancing. Look at them floating across the bridge. There's a lot more done than to go. Yep. So a crushing victory for Rohan in the end. We uh, we put the Dunlin Horde to the sword. The, the the fight value, the charging, the attacks. It was it was tough tough day for Dunland. Uh, I ended up controlling uh, three of the objectives and contesting the center in my favor, uh, plus breaking and killing the leader. So I got nine, and then you held one objective up the back at him, so that took you to two. Yep. Um, a tough Born one. Born in the one. mountains to die in the place. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly we'll see right. You next time. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, who, who do you reckon your most valuable unit was? Uh, Red Sleeves. The final chieftain? Yeah, the final chieftain got the final kill for, for, sure. for the game. I think also, uh, it didn't come off as much as we would have hoped, but the hatred special rule was good. Because yes. usually my, my royal guard are quite tough, but your little wildmen, just any time they did win a fight, which was only about four times the whole game, they got the kill. They got the kill. So, uh, so that was certainly useful. Uh, for me, I think it was just Rohan, Rohan, Rohaning. We just always had the charge, always had the fight value. Aimer and Dernhelm killed a lot, and Elfhelm made a little play up the back to, to pad out the VP line, but it was yeah, it was a really tough matchup for you, I think. Um, uh, I enjoyed it. It was a good game. Yeah, it was good. Okay. Really nice board, and your army is gorgeous. We'll have to oh, thank you. we'll have to take some photos during display and, and make sure you guys get a good look because it's it's such a beautiful horde. So well done. Good luck with the rest of it, dude. Cheers, mate. See ya. Game number two at Battle Hard 2019 down in Melbourne, and it is to the death against uh, a long time lad, Nick mm. Gentile. Uh, it's going to be a good little matchup, man. Tell us about your army. So, my army is based on Helm's Deep, on the Deeping Wall. I've wiggled the theme a little bit. Just a smidge. Just a little bit. Aragorn gets on a horse at the end of Helm's Deep. Yep, I like it. I like and it. he found his magic sword, Andrew, in the cave. Okay, good, good. And good. if you pause one particular scene of the movie, I see, yes. You can 
C and L through the flute, so that's why there's two sentinels. I see, two sentinels yeah. and, and a storm caller because yeah. they were, they were, we all remember the you know, spells yeah. and. Yeah, and, and, it started raining, right? Yeah, yeah. So, storm yeah. caller, yeah. indeed. I love it. Yes, it's basically like the Helm's Deep uh, kind of civil war here. The yeah. Uruks are on their way. We've got a bit of a training match going on. Mm. Uh, all my Rohan up in the keep. We threw a few insults down at the elves, and the elves are like, right. Let's settle this behind the wall. So it's going to be a good stash. Are we playing? To the death? To the death. Okay, so we're killing each other. We're quartering, we're breaking, we're leader killing. Who's your leader? Aragorn? Aragorn's leader. Okay, cool. Faden, obviously mine. Yep. He will be staying far away from Aragorn. Uh, and then uh, and then we've, we've, both got, we've both got banners. you got one, I've got two. Oh, yeah, the, the magic banner. Right? Yes. Oh, that's going to be tough to get. It's going to be fun. Right, dude, good luck. You too. Let's dive into it. So uh, a, a bit of a falter in the, the gallop of Rohan. Uh, we, we went down 9-1 to, uh, to your gorgeous love, Laurie and Nick. It was, I kind of fought you in a choke point where I shouldn't have. Yeah. I had no heroes on my left flank because I got models confused and that flank sort of crumbled. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, a, few, a few bad errors, but some great play from you. What do you think your MVP was, dude? I think the Stormcaller was the MVP. He was able to hold this flank on his own. Um, when I saw that there was no might over there, yeah. his one might point made a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, getting that. I mean, you kind of nerfed a really important charge while I was still mounted, blew a couple of guys, I think three guys off horse in the end. Yeah, uh, yeah. One of them who died. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> when he shouldn't have, because yeah. I, I did a re-roll to go and gamble for a six, got a one, and then wounded a six. So yeah. to break his neck, which was fun. Uh, I don't really know. Surprisingly, the captains were useful. Uh, Dernhelm kind of killed a little bit on the initial charge and, and had some survivability. Um, but yeah, Aemon went down in one turn to Aragorn. I think there was basically four heroic strikes in a row that really mattered and I rolled, oh, I was five, I rolled two ones and three twos. You could never strike up to win any fights, but you know, I, I shouldn't have been relying on those kind of 50-50 rolls anyway. So some, yeah, some bad formation. It's all about, yeah, it was positioning, 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 positioning. Maddie's on the table next to us going ding, ding, ding. Uh, bad positioning from Lockie uh, and it cost me the game. But yeah, it's a great looking army, dude. You enjoying playing so far? Yeah, loving it. So this is an army that I did previously. Um, like I said, I've, I've cheesed it up a bit by putting Aragorn on a horse yeah. and stuff. <laughs> so normally it's all infantry, but that one character on a horse, especially yeah. when he hits so hard, absolutely, it's all the difference. You're preaching to the choir. The whole thing about the Return of the King, Legendary Legion, is that Aragorn can't get a horse, which is why I will never take it. Yeah. Screw the 40 points for Andrew all for free and all that nonsense. Aragorn on a horse is insane. Yeah. He's like one of the most unkillable mounted characters. Three might with horse lord, just like Aemar. He's he's fantastic. So definitely. Definitely rate putting him on a horse. Great game, well yes, done. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the tournament. Good I luck. Will. Thank you. Round number three at Battleheart in 2019. We are playing Capture and Control. My opponent is the famous, the marvelous Tim Wright from here in Melbourne. And Tim, you're bringing an interesting little army today. Do you want to run us through the many models that you've brought to the board? Yeah, I've probably got lots of models. It's going to be, take a long time to move them all. I've yes, got um, Smaug. <laughs> Um, when we think, oh, dragon. Yep, yep. And, and anything else? No, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, so, yes, yeah, Smaug, the Desolator of the North, is here to ruin Rohan's day. I've never played this model before. I've never even played a dragon. He flies, he sets shit on fire, he does all sorts of scary nonsense. Um, and he's... 20 wounds? 20 wounds, yeah. Wow, what are we going to do here? <laughs> so the, the game's capturing control, so yep. we'll have to try and play the objectives, but I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty tempted to just throw everything at him and see what happens. So good luck, dude. Good Let's good get luck. into it. Let's do it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it will. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs>
So, Smaug, that was an experience. My god, that guy's uh, a tank. Uh, I managed to get the win. Smaug survived. Uh, he maybe probably shouldn't have because I totally forgot that Aim was supposed to be re-rolling wounds. I was doing the charging, but not the re-rolls. But uh, there was, yeah, it was it was all, all the way down to the wire. Hey, that was the hectic, dude. Yeah, well, that was a pretty crazy game. I was really sweating at the end there. Yeah. I was trying to... Pull it in, but I just couldn't at the end. I, I think right. I think the big thing for me was heroic strikes. Yeah. Just I, I just kept gambling out of combat, and just kept refreshing yeah. Mary, Aowen, and Aema to keep striking, to keep stopping Smaug from killing stuff. You got an awesome playoff early game. Yeah. Um, I forgot that the dragon was moved twelve. I thought he was only moved six. Yeah. And you got an awesome heroic combat, killed Fade in first turn. So all of a sudden, all my fearless is gone. All my kind of buffs are gone, and I think it, it really showed in that kind of early game. What did I have? Like 12 fail courage checks yeah, in a row? Yeah, yeah, there was one point you had 12, and you're always failing a few every time getting smug. Absolutely. I think just having that might every turn to be able to always yeah. uh, call the move, call the strike, like, yeah, it was much I can do. And the fact that I had to use all the might on the dragon to get, to get the to, combat. To get the yeah, combat, that's true. That, that, was, that hurt. That hurt. And, and so. I managed to get the dragon out of there, but it wasn't long before he sniped in. Oh, yeah, so killing, killing the dragon was big. I, got, yeah. uh, we, I sort of chomped him for a couple of turns in combat, got him down to one wound, and then he just flew off because I had no might left. We chased after him a couple of turns of throwing spears, finally got rid of him, and from then I pretty much had board control. I just yeah. kept pinning Smaug. Elf Elm did nine wounds nine with wounds, the special yeah. hitting yeah. on a six and doing the damage of his spear in wounds, so, uh, so he was a bit of a legend. But yeah, it was a really, really fun game and a, a crazy experience. So thanks yeah. so much, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good luck with the rest of the tournament. You too. Thank you. All right, so we're here at the beginning of day number two for Battle Hard in 2019. It's round we're up to four now. Yes, yes. Round, round four. We're playing Lords of Battle on this gorgeous Elven board. It's absolutely mental. Some stunning 3D printed stuff. I know the files are printable scenery, but who's the sponsor, Jacob? OTP Terrain and Miniatures. OTP Terrain. You guys are legends. These boards are amazing. Uh, and we're playing Lords of Battle, so it's all about the kill town, uh, the kill count. We're killing leaders. We're going for break. Lots of interesting little objective swirls. Uh, but let's find out who we're playing. Thomas Bowman, what are you bringing today, dude? Oh, Dark Pals of Dark Nice. Uh, so who's your leader? I'm going for the Necromancer, I think I see him over there. Terrifying, terrifying. Absolutely awful. And what other heroes you got? Uh, I've got Lingering Shadow, uh, one Castellan with a Morgul Blade, and the Keeper of the Dungeons. Cool, awesome. Now the Lingering Shadow is the, the one who, uh, like the Nazgul of Dog and Duo who teleports, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Well, that should be very interesting. We're going to be, uh, a boy, so, uh, you've got a little more numbers than me, uh, which, which might help for the kill count if I can hit some of the squishier dudes, but obviously I've got horses, and if you wound my horses, you know, that's points as well. So it should be a pretty even matchup, I think. Good luck, dude. Let's get into it. So Lords of Battle uh, once again has returned to victory for Rohan. It's like my favourite scenario. I, I still I lost it in New Zealand, but it's it's come back. Uh, the final score was. 59 to 7. Uh -huh. uh, it was a, a, a big, big win for Rohan. Ended up being 12 VPs to 0 because I, I got the leader kill. I killed the Necromancer on the final turn uh, and, uh, and and managed to, to run away with it. I think for me, the big moment was in the first turn, I killed the Castellan of Dol Guldur, which just gave me 13 points because of his 12, his 12 fate and the wound. So um, that already you were kind of on the back foot then um, by like really ramping up that kill score. I ran around the sides. Um, and uh, and managed to kind of just crunch and crunch and crunch and eventually eventually got you. How did uh, what, what do you think your most valuable unit was, Tommy? Uh, definitely the Necromancer. He's the one that got me most of my yeah. Because he, he got basically both the snipes on Theoden, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, he did some heroic um, heroic moves. Killed Theoden. 
Um, that's about it. it. All the orcs just sort of slowly died. So uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did go down eventually. The hunter orcs, they were like deployed in the trees and up in the buildings. They looked super yeah, cool, but they didn't actually get to do very much. They missed all game. Um, so, so no luck there, but uh, sorry it was a, a bit savage, but uh, great fun and yeah, played in great fun. spirits. Thank you. Thanks dude, good luck with the rest. Uh, yeah. We've got one more game now, don't yeah, we? One more. Good luck with round number five. Thank you. The final round of Battle Hardened 2019, and we are on the second or third top table. We're up there. Yeah, we're, we're up there, we're, dude. We're top, top five. Uh, top five. Yeah. Very nice, yeah. very nice. I'm here against Maddie, one of the many Maddies here today. Uh, and this is the Dodson Geary uh, variety of Matthews. Uh, and we've got a pretty themey matchup. I am riding across the Palinor, although it's through the ruins of Osgiliath, but that's fine. Uh, and I am charging down Gothmog's Legion, which is going to be uh, a very nice themey way to end the day. Yeah, look, it's going to be an interesting game. Um, I think it's probably one of the best matchups. Maybe. It's pretty even. Yeah. Hey, like obviously, I can scream death. You can scream time of the orc has come. But yeah, it's going to, going to be good. Uh, tell us about your list because there's so many cool choices and so many heroes, which is super yeah. important because we're playing Fog of War, which we'll dive into in a sec. So I've kind of just tried to maintain the theme. So I've gone for all the orc captains. So awesome. For Gothmog, gone for some four. So you can yep. yeah, yeah. Now you got it. You got um, uh, I've got Gurit, I've got Goroth, and I've got Zagdash, and I've thrown in a Shaman as well. Cool, cool. They're pretty stock standard. Every, everybody's got mm -hmm. everything's Moran and Orcs, and it's just a cheeky little catapult. Just a cheeky little catapult with the troll. But that's on theme too, because, you know, they've just quickly seen the Rohan are coming and rotated the catapult, uh, and, they're, and they're firing off. So I've got nine heroes, you've got seven. Yes. Uh, now, Fog of War, we are each choosing a hero to protect, an enemy hero to assassinate and a terrain piece in the opposing half or the center to score. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, good luck, my dude. Yep. Let's see how we go. Good luck. A victory for Rohan to finish the day. We uh, we, we got in there and we, we did some work against Gothmog's Legion. It ended up being 10-1 and it just didn't feel like a 10-1 game. It, it was so close. It honestly didn't. Like, it, it, it could have gone either way. It really came down to roll-offs. Like, I, honestly, I think we both played smart. Um, honestly, it... It just went in the favor of Rohan. Yep, it did. I, I think it's all about objectives in Fog of War. I had no idea what your objectives were. I thought you might try and protect the siege vet, and I just went, you know what? If that's what you've done, you can have those points. And I didn't go after it. And it, on, on like the first combat, I got a really lucky slingshot where I killed Zagdush and the, and the Enforcer in the first turn, and Zagdush was my goal. So that was a lucky roll off for me to win because it converted to VPs. Um, and, and then, yeah, the, the red, I broke you and, and, and and sort of fell apart a bit. Yeah, it was just a bit. Like, I honestly didn't know what to do in that initial stage when I was literally within range to charge you. Honestly, I just... Just go for it. Yeah, it might as well. Like, and I'll just play around it. And that's, that's kind of what it was. Yeah, it was, it was a good strap, and it was true to history. Yeah. This, the, the Pelinor, we've rode in, we've gone to Gothmog, and, and now the Mummikill. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true, sorry. Gothmog's still alive. Well, see, when I, if I come second and I win the death of Gothmog box, then I can model his yeah. <laughs> death. But we'll see, we'll see. Great game, dude. Uh, very, very brain melting, and, and lots of. It was, it was all about positioning. Right? Yeah, it, it really came down to positioning. Uh, even then, like yeah. the initial start where you played smart for the two inches, it's yep. a good idea. Yep. You're the first person oh, to done that. Let's thing. let's talk about that. So first turn I spread like I had all my heroic marches and got everyone away so that there was no splash damage from the catapult. And then you kind of moved up your line to make me charge. I plowed on in and then you got an amazing hit with the catapult. Talk yeah. us through that. Uh, look, I was just moving through. Like, it's, it's a four-up. You guys are going to roll a five. 
because yeah, because it was all about the scatter, right? Yeah. And you and you roll the five and then spent the money. Yeah. So it, honestly, like I was really happy to roll the five, but it, if I killed the banner or if I didn't, like I did do my job and got the boosters off, but it's just like if I killed the banner, it's yeah. Like, what? It didn't it didn't translate into enough kills, but it was amazing for a turn because Daywine, Theoden, two captains the, uh, were all not prone, so couldn't call heroic combat, which is exactly what they were going to do to establish. Excuse me, to establish control of the ruins, uh, and then so I even I, I still think that move was awesome because I'm still not in control of them properly yeah. because of that catapult. Yeah. So it was it was a great play. Honestly, I feel like the catapult was better than the Yeah, yeah. How, how did you go for the rest of the game? Um, I'm on just three, uh, five, one, uh, nine, one. Yeah, cool, big one. Yeah, uh, I honestly don't believe I did one from the deserves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really came down to fight between the three things and Gothmog. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And Gothmog got up. Yeah, and Gothmog got wow. up and killed Aragorn. Wow. Yeah, so, honestly, I don't believe I deserved that one, but it's still in the game. You could have had more luck here. So, it all, it all, it all, yeah, dice, it's a dice game, isn't it? It's been on my life with that one. Yeah, so, yeah you know, that happens. Well, good luck with the placings, man. Hopefully, you've done pretty well. Hopefully. <laughs> Did you walk? I did walk. Yeah, you walked. Yeah. All right, furthest traveler goes to Lachlan Linton oh, Keating. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Kalong. Do you want your one again? Yeah. Uh, Take your mystery model. What's the mystery model? Five, 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 five. I will open the mystery model. It's fitting. Furthest traveler, what is it? I can't fucking get it open. This is like Fort Knox. It's American. It's Frodo with the ring. Yeah. Just before he drops it into Mount Doom. Because you want Sam. <laughs> Alright. I don't have this guy. Next up we have Law Masters. This happened last night. It was a beautiful trivia. It went to the coalition of Nick Gentilly and Lachlan Linton King. Woo! Yay! Yeah. He got in third place. He's doing well today. It's Jordan yes! Nixon. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh! Joshy, what do you want? Gothmog or the Elk? Second what place! You, Gothmog or the Elk? Look, we listen to you! Yes, I got Gothmog! I said I got second! And first place is Josh Coleman. So I ended up finishing second place at Battle Hardened Down in Melbourne, which was an awesome and pretty unexpected result. I was very tired from having competed in New Zealand uh, just a week earlier. This vlog is now coming out on YouTube very late, but it was an absolutely awesome tournament and great to meet a lot of the guys down in Melbourne, which is a little bit further away from Brisbane than a lot of the international community would think. We're both in Australia, but it's still like, I don't know, 1500 kilometers maybe. It's it's a big distance. Uh, and I managed to pick up the Death of Gothmog box set as well, which is the awesome one where Gothmog's getting killed by Aragorn uh, and Gimli, and, and yeah, so that could be a really cool little diorama build in the future. Let me know if you guys want to see that down in the comments below, but I'm really happy with how the army performed. I made lots of awful mistakes, um, but notably uh, kind of misreading Tim's army and getting Thade and killed in the game against Smaug, but that was still an awesome game, and Elfhelm nailed Smaug with the spears. Uh, the biggest mistake uh, of the weekend was definitely against Nick where I just I was so tired I thought one of my royal guards was one of my captains so I was hoping to sort of charge up through that corridor and then pin Nick's forces against my charging you know do a bit of a pincer was gonna be awesome uh, but unfortunately it was just a royal guard and I had no might over there so my my horsemen all died and the storm caller did some magic but it was an awesome game against some amazing opponents all weekend so thank you so much to uh, everyone down there who I met and everyone who I played against and of course to Jacob hi who put together an awesome tournament we'll definitely have to jump on down uh, to Melbourne uh, for some more events. That's going to be coming up soon, as well as some more kind of uh, general broader events. There's going to be more New Zealand and some more interstate Australian events as well, following my journey as I hit different tournaments with different armies. Now, before we go, let's talk about what I took. So this was 1,000 points. Uh, so this was the same Riders of Thade and Legendary Legion list as New Zealand, but I jammed in an extra two captains. So that takes me up to nine heroes, and then I went up to 12 Royal Guards. So 
It's still only 21 models at a thousand points, but uh, it still hits really, really hard. I think, I think the MVP. I mean, look, gambling is so instrumental to the function of the army. Um, but it, it's it's the Dernhelm I am a combo. The, but having two beat sticks essentially enabling so much killing potential was awesome. Um, their their ability to heroic strike. I mean, it's all fed by gambling, right? It's just all the synergies building around each other. Um, but I mean, yeah, Elfhelm performed honestly. The captains even perform. They're the captains with Theoden, they're fight five on the charge with the army bonus, their strength, well the you know, legion bonus, their strength five on the charge. Fight five, strength five on the charge, that's awesome for a captain model and it gives me heroic march really easily um, and you know, they, they're extra heroes that uh, trigger the death special rule for the free heroic combat um, obviously they can't strike because they don't have it but they're just like guaranteed combat so you pair them up with another hero so that you can have double swings and getting the strike moving as well. Uh, they're just, yeah they're fantastic, really, really fantastic, and of course there are extra heroes to be near Gambling's Banner if possible, but usually uh, that will be uh, Dernhelm, who's, who's, you know, Dernhelm or, or, or I am, or, or Deowine. I honestly think Deowine was probably the underperformer, because at a thousand points, he's still great, but his synergies with Theoden weren't as required, because there's so much other hero action, but he was still solid, um, and it was it was a really great weekend. I was very lucky, I think, to get second, because I was, I was playing it pretty fast and casual, I had some really suitable matchups that worked in my favor and also because um, I took a dive and uh, and Nick got me in the second game it meant that I dodged the player who finished first the wonderful Joshua Coleman who of course we will soon be seeing in the final at Arda when I finally edit that video which is coming out soon I've just been on leave and, and I uh, and I didn't get it finished and this one was basically a hundred percent done all I needed to do was click export and film this outro so I thought I'd smash this out but Joshua Coleman an amazing player with his Rivendell Knight army with the same one that he ended up taking taking to Arda uh, in a few months time after this video, just a little bit more condensed. So anyway, that's enough rambling for me, an awesome tournament. This might be my last outing with Riders of Theoden for a while. I might be going for something new for the first couple of tournaments this year uh, in Queensland. I want to do something really themey potentially, if I have the time to paint and model and sculpt it. Otherwise, I'll probably just fall back on, on the old Riders. So we might see something a little different, or we might see some more Rohan. We'll have to wait and see. If you guys are enjoying these tournament vlogs, it's something a little bit different. Oh, also, before I go, sorry if some of the audio was a bit rubbish in this one. I, As you will notice during those interviews, I had my audio recorder. I accidentally formatted the card just before Arda Unleashed without realizing I hadn't wrangled the audio for this video. So uh, we just had to have the camera on board audio. But I had a shotgun mic, so I think it wasn't too bad. Just sometimes it might have been a little hard to hear, but that's fine. It's just a tournament vlog. It was all atmosphere. If you guys are enjoying this style, if you like a little insight into how tournaments are run around the world and you kind of like the flavor of seeing what I'm running and different tournament builds and seeing what people uh, are kind of bringing, uh, definitely uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions on different ways you'd like me to cover these events let me know. I do try, I know you're all going to say, show me more of the opponent's models. And I do try and do that. I think I only missed one opponent in this vlog. It was just, uh, it's, you know, it's always such a packed day. So I didn't manage to film everything. Usually your army's on parade's a good time for it. But anyway, that's all from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you real soon right here on Zorbazorb Gaming. Cheers, guys.